Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Grafana monitoring tool on Ubuntu Linux. Grafana is an open source monitoring tool. Let's connect to Ubuntu machine. Open Firefox. Grafana installation is very simple process. Go to grafana.com. This is official website for Grafana. Click on documentation, then click on Grafana. Then click on this install Grafana. I am going to keep these documents of the commands which are executed in this video in the video description. Click on it. See here, complete the following steps to install Grafana from the APT repository. Now copy the first command. Go to terminal and paste. It is done. Now next, copy the next command that is software properties. It is also done. Then get this. GPG key. It is also done. Next, add this stable repository. Control L to clear the screen and paste. It is also done. For, copy this for beta release. Now update the packages. sudo apt update. This may take time based on the your packages updation status. It is done. Ignore these errors. Next, install Grafana by running sudo apt get install Grafana. It is going to download 209 megabytes. See, Grafana installation is success. To start Grafana, we have to run <coughs> this command. See note here, not starting on installation, then please execute following statements to configure Grafana to start automatically using system D. So what this command means, this is going to enable Grafana server, which means whenever the operating system reboots, then no need to start the Grafana server manually. So if you enable this one, operating system automatically starts the Grafana server. So run these commands. Copy this, copy this command. That is, or simply run sudo systemctl daemon hyphen reload. Then systemctl sudo systemctl enable Grafana server. It is done. Before starting the server, verify whether it is started or not. sudo systemctl status grafana. See, it is 
not started it is inactive or dead okay now start by running the sudo systemctl start grafana server again verify see it is active q2 quit then open firefox then go to now we are going to see how to connect to grafana localhost it turns on port number 3000 hit enter the default username and password is admin password also same admin later we can change it and hit enter don't save now it is asking to set the password give the password whatever you like for this admin user and click on submit don't save see this is the grafana dashboard click on this menu see here we have dashboards now suppose if you want to connect to postgresql just click on this home menu then click on connections then here we have to search for the data sources we have n number of data sources it is very difficult to find it is always better to recommend it to search here like mysql see we have mysql postgresql see we have postgresql then click on data sources then click on add data source then click on postgresql here we have to provide the host information database name username and password okay like this we have to provide all the connection details then we have to click on this save and test in the same way if you want to add mysql search for mysql then click on mysql then data source then click on add data source then search here mysql click on it In the same way here also 3306 is the default port for mysql same way we have to enter the connection details for mysql then you have to run save and test like this we can suppose if you want to stop grafana go to terminal sudo systemctl stop grafana hyphen server it is stop now try to refresh this one see we got the error so go back and verify the status see it is inactive so start it again now click on this try again or refresh see now we are able to connect again okay suppose if you want to restart give same command sudo system ctl restart grafana server you can verify by running the status command see we have restarted or started 3 seconds ago but for restarting this will be up again it won't be down see we are able to connect so in this video we have seen how to install and configure grafana on ubuntu linux then we have seen how to start stop restart to grafana for more grafana videos please subscribe my channel